There we go, just a few final touches. Oh, I haven't quite got the colours, but that's fine. Let's just put that there. Lovely, nice little lap tap. Okay, make sure we are connected and oh, there we go, amazing, huzzah, eureka, by Jove, or whatever else you say when you finish an awesome invention. Oh, hi everyone, I have just finished making my amazing invention that is going to change how I view Christmas forever. This is the gift o -matic. You see, it was getting so tiring and difficult to keep getting people good presents every year. Uh, there's so many people that I want to buy presents for, and I want to make sure I get them the greatest gift possible. Well now, just in time as well, on Christmas Eve, the gift o -matic is here. I just need to input a little bit of information about a person, and the machine brings out a great present for them. Uh, should we give it a go? Uh, should we give it a try? Uh, does anyone here uh, fancy? Oh, yes, yes, you sir. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, already got a mic on as well. Great. Uh, why, don't you, why don't you come to the front and let me put some details in. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name's Will. Will, lovely. I didn't know that. Um, age? Uh, 15 years 15 old. 15 years old. Brilliant. And what is your favourite bit about Christmas dinner? Well, I really don't like the Brussels sprouts, but I'd have to say I love wearing the party hats. Party hats, brilliant. Yes, I love the party hats. Underrated part of Christmas. <laughs> um, what's your favourite colour, Will? Ooh, I really like the colours on the gift o -matic. Okay, yeah, yeah, the, the reds and the whites, lovely. Let me put that in. And, Will, if you had £19.50 to spend right now, what would you spend it on? <laughs> I've never had that much money in my life, but if I had to have something, probably a vintage action man on a mountain bike. Vintage action man, brilliant. Okay, let me just put that in and I think that should be enough. So here we go. Oh, I think it's working. Oh, brilliant. Wow, Will, there we go. I think that is for you. And the same colours as well, that's brilliant. Why didn't you open it up for us? It's wrapped beautifully as well. It's a vintage action man on a mountain bike. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> it's oh. amazing. Wow. Good job, machine. That is great. Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Will. Wow. Thanks for helping me out. Thanks very much for the gift and Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to you too, Will. Brilliant. Oh. That is good. Wow. I'm so happy with how that worked out. But oh, what... What if it was just a fluke, you know? And actually, those questions were quite direct as well. I do know that you can buy on eBay for £19.50 an action man on a mountain bike. Um, oh. Okay, why don't we have another volunteer, actually? Let's test it again. Yeah, me, uh, maybe me, someone a bit me, further at the me, back. Pick me, yeah, oh, pick yeah, go on, Jess. Come on, there we go. Brilliant. Uh, sorry, everyone else, but she also has a mic on. So... Um, <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, okay. Well, maybe some different questions for you then, Jess. Uh, mince pies or chicken pies? Uh, can I go with neither? Neither. Okay. Yeah. Let me put that one in. And uh, okay. Uh, what's your favourite Christmas cracker joke? Ooh, Christmas cracker joke. Um, why are Christmas trees not very good at knitting? I don't know. Why are Christmas trees not very good at knitting? Because they lose all of their needles. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. Right. Let me just put that in. I actually think that might be enough. So, um, all right, then let's go. Gift o -matic. Here we go. Oh, wow. What's this? Oh, there you Great. are, Jess. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. Lovely wrap. A bit neater wrap this time around, actually, as well. <gasps> Whoa, what is it? This. Sam is a 1976 limited edition ch uh, chess set from the Jesmond Parish Chess youth, youth Store. Wow. Very exciting. <laughs> I think this is very, very specific. Yeah. I, I don't know yeah. how, how you knew that, but yeah, I think this is probably my second favourite chess set. Brilliant. Oh, again, <laughs> well, I'm so glad you like it, Jess. That, that is yeah, brilliant. You. You're very specific. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what would be your number one ever chess set? Well, I'm not sure how or when or 
Yeah, but I'd really like uh, to own the first ever chess set. Wow. That would be pretty cool. Okay, yeah, amazing. The first yeah. ever chess set, yeah. I can see why that might rank a bit higher than the 1976 yeah. chess set from the Desmond Parish Church U store. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, well, thanks, Jess. That's given me thanks. a good idea. Thank you very much. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Less neat than well, I see. Um, um, Okay, brilliant. That's given me a good idea. I'm happy with how this is going, but let's increase the range, you know, to, to thousands and thousands of years. And then, uh, you know, maybe we'll get some even great presents from ancient history, like the first ever chess set. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, let me just input that there. And okay, hopefully that should be working now. Oh, wow, yeah, brilliant. Scanning history, updating, fab. Okay. Great. The gift matic I think, is going to be working. Oh, what's this? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, better gift available. Brilliant. Okay. That must be the chess set. Oh, lovely. <laughs> you ready, Jess? Here we go. <laughs> what? what? What's this? That's not the chess set. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? A scarf? A cloth? What is going on here? Wow, that is, that is really interesting. Oh, hold on. What's, what's this saying? Gift is better when wrapped in strips of cloth. Interesting. Uh, oh, and another one. Uh, gift is better when placed in a manger. Oh, a manger? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, hold, hold off on that one. A manger? That's where animals eat their food. No, we don't want one of those. Wait, what is going on here? Uh, you're just being silly now. Uh, let me see if I can reset, guys. I'm really sorry about this. I don't know what's happening. Let's just see if I can have a... Oh, oh, wow. Wow, an alert. Uh, new greatest ever gift found. Read the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. <laughs> the gift matic thinks it's found the greatest gift ever. Oh, we've got to look into this. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Giftomatic. It's given me a Bible. That's brilliant. Okay. Right, what was it again? Luke chapter 2. Okay, here we go. And oh, here we are. Here we are. Luke chapter 2, verse 7. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger. <gasps> wrapped in cloth and placed in a manger. That's what the machine was on about. <gasps> So that must mean the greatest gift ever was a baby, a son. I wonder why that baby was so great. I mean, babies are born all the time, aren't they? Okay, well, let's read on then. Okay, some uh, shepherds out in a field, angel appears to them, and... Oh, aha, here we go, here we go. The angel said to the shepherds in verse 10, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. A saviour born to you. Good news that will cause great joy. That's right, isn't it? Gifts can cause us great joy. I remember in my first year of uni, I was two months in and my mum gave me a birthday present. Uh, it was hair wax along with some nail clippers. And actually, the nail clippers were a present from when I was 17, as you can tell, and that's also the year you start driving, hence the car. And knowing my parents, I'm sure they would have bought other gifts as well along with that, but I remember those two so much more than the others because it was literally the day before I had run out of hair wax and I was starting to, you know when your nails just start making that annoying feeling and sound on your phone, I, I was starting to get annoyed with how long my nails are and realising as a student, I don't own nail clippers. It was like my mum had read my mind, she knew what I needed. That gift brought me great joy. It rescued me, well, it tried to rescue me from bad hair and scratchy nails. It brought me great joy, but can you imagine tomorrow morning on Christmas Day, the only present that you get tomorrow is some hair wax and some nail clippers. I don't think you'd be very joyful. But this gift that we've read about, the greatest gift, 
the angel says, will cause great joy for all the people, all the people, everyone. Well, how? Well, the angel continues, this baby, Jesus, born for you, was a saviour, a rescuer, and much more than rescuing from bad hair and scratchy nails, he rescues us from sin. Now, sin is all of the, the bad things that we don't do, the, the things that we do that don't please God. When we turn from him, we don't live how he wants us to. And the punishment for that is not being with God and not being with his goodness forever. But the angel says, a saviour is born. Now, that's a bit confusing, isn't it? Uh, you know, Jesus the baby wasn't going around rescuing people at this point. No, he's still a baby. He wasn't like a superhero. He's still sleeping and he's drinking milk and he's making lots of mess. No, he wasn't rescuing yet. The angel was delivering a message from God. And God knew that this baby, his son, was a saviour. And that one day he would rescue many. Because this baby grew up to be a man and he did wonderful things. He gave the blind sight. He made the lame walk. He welcomed and he loved the outsiders. He saved people from illness and sickness and storms. And most of all, he saved them from sin. Because Jesus let himself be killed on a cross. And three days later, he rose again from death to life. Jesus took the punishment for our sin on him. He defeated death. And that's why Jesus, a gift from God, was the greatest ever gift. So that we, so that everyone might be saved and be with God forever. <laughs> oh, I love this machine. Oh, wow, wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, the gift of given me a balloon. Uh, that's right, actually, isn't it? My gift of is a bit out of use now, isn't it? Because if the greatest gift for everyone is a baby in a manger, well, I can't give a baby in a manger to everyone. But this balloon is a good reminder that we can celebrate Jesus, the greatest ever gift. And it's good news, isn't it? It's good news. We can tell others. We can share the news. And so tomorrow, when we are giving and receiving gifts, let's remember Jesus, the greatest ever gift. Let's celebrate and share him with others. I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Let me finish in a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Jesus, the greatest ever gift. Uh, we pray tomorrow amongst everything else and the busyness that we would celebrate him, that we would remember him who has caused great joy for all people. And we pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>